Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today, I'm talking about Hytale again, big surprise, and today, I'm gonna be speculating about the oceans of Hytale. Oh boy, for those of you that don't know, there's been some pretty crazy stuff that's already been confirmed. For example, the sky limit is going to be greater than 256 blocks. Now, what does this have to do with underwater? Well, ground level might just be higher than 60. What if, in the oceans of Hytale, you could go down a thousand blocks? What if they've just been hiding from us this crazy fact that the oceans are super duper deep? The first thing that comes to mind is, of course, Subnautica. Anyone that's ever played or seen anything from Subnautica would know how freaking scary underwater can be on an alien planet with some, like, really dangerous mobs. There's been some other things that are leaning me in the direction of a really deep ocean, and that's one of the concept arts. It shows a massive whale that is so big, in fact, that if you look, really, really tiny little fish things are about the size of its eyeball. Well, it's been confirmed that those fish thingies are sharks. Yeah. So, the size of a shark is the eyeball of this massive creature. What does that mean for gameplay? Well, it's gonna be a freaking big ocean if there's gonna be a whale that big in the game. <laughs> it's nuts. There's also, there's also been some screenshots of cave systems, as well as some other underwater gameplay. For example, there's sunken ships, just like from Minecraft. And there's all sorts of wildlife. I mean, there's puffer fish, there's sharks, there's whales. There's many other kinds of fish, obviously, and if you look in the uh, the very few scenes that we've seen so far of underwater, you're going to notice that there's some equipment that the player has, for example, fins and an oxygen tank. This could mean a lot because maybe something like the oxygen tank could increase the amount of time you can spend underwater. And maybe there would be such a thing as a rebreather that increases that time even further. So let's keep going with this idea of super duper deep oceans, right? There could be the potential for underwater vehicles similar to the Sea Glide, the Sea Moth, and submarines such as the Cyclops from Subnautica. <laughs> just imagine having a massive submarine and being a thousand meters below the surface and just hearing these really creepy rumbling noises and then you look up and there's this massive Leviathan class creature opening its mouth and attempting to swallow you into it. Oh boy, there could be some other things, such as underwater cities. The first thing that comes to mind for me is Rapture from the Bioshock games. That was one of the most iconic moments in gaming history at the time. Going underneath this island, and then being in your little pod, and then seeing this massive city just lit up, and it's surrounded by water and fish. I chose the impossible. I chose... Rapture. A city where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, Rapture can become your city as well. And it's just all sheltered and it's like extremely scary because if there's a collapse, in the tunnel system, then the entire area could get flooded, but it is so cool. So, in a previous video, I talked about some ideas that would be great for the game, and one of those ideas would be cubic chunk loading, if you guys don't know the implications of that. Uh, in Minecraft, a chunk is a 16 by 16 by 256 region of land that loads every time you walk in a particular area, right? So if you walk somewhere, depending on your render distance, that many chunks will load around you. So in a system like that, you're limited to 256 blocks in the Y axis. But what if chunks were 16 by 16 by 16? What that would do is mean that you could load infinite of them up, down, left, right, forward, backwards. So you can go in any direction you want infinitely. I'm not saying that the world should be infinite downwards, but I'm saying that in the code, things like that should be possible. So if you can imagine if that was true, then you could have super deep oceans 
with stuff underwater to discover and it would be insane. So on another topic, I would actually like to speculate how water in general is going to work in Hytale. I got an interesting question like a month ago and it was, will you be able to block clutch in Hytale? Which is an interesting idea. The first off, you would need to have a water bucket as an item. Second off, you would have to place the water underneath your character before they fall. If you don't know what block clutching is, you basically, if you're falling from a great height, you can actually, in Minecraft, place a bucket of water underneath yourself to avoid taking fall damage. And if you time it right, then you can save yourself from falling at any height. So, will that be possible in Hytale? That's a good question. Another question that people are asking is, will the water be infinite in such a way that you can place 2x2 two two water and then it will become an infinite pool because it flow into itself. Or will water be separate from a block? Will it be something that fills up an area and the second you take a bucket of water out, the water level goes down? That is something that I do not know. I am secretly hoping, well not so secretly anymore, I am hoping that Hytale's water system be limited. So there'd be a water level. You take a bucket of water out of the container and then the water will you know go down a little bit but it won't infinitely pool it won't be perfectly in a block shape uh, i really do hope that that's a thing because then it would open up so much more if water wasn't a block and it was just something that could waterlog blocks it'd make the coding a lot easier for you know having objects underwater instead of having a waterlogged variant for everything so that would be really neat as well but anyway back to the underwater aspects of the game we don't know a lot so far there's literally only like three scenes and a few screenshots so at the moment we don't know much about the underwater of Hytale and that's what makes it so interesting I feel like they are hiding something from us and it is just a matter of time before that info gets out and don't be surprised if on release you have players telling horror stories about how they found a cave that goes a thousand blocks underneath the surface and then they find a huge cavern full of some deadly monster maybe something like the crab squid from <laughs> subnautica something really scary none of that is known yet but what would you want to see underwater in hytale me personally i've already said i would love for the oceans to be super duper deep and it'd be really cool to have things like crabs maybe that just like hide underneath the sand and then they pop up to attack you or maybe there'd be different resources you can get underwater. For example, in Subnautica, you can find Kyanite, which is a really heat resistant crystal, and you only get it by going to the inactive and active lava zones, which are extremely deep under the surface, and you can use it to craft a you can use it to craft depth upgrades for your ships because as you go farther down the water pressure gets more and more so of course you would want something that makes it so your hull can deal with more pressure can have a higher equalization pressure on the inside with air something like that would be really neat for Hytale as well that there would be a pressure difference so maybe your character's ears would pop at about 10 20 meters i think at 10 meters that happens in real life your ears would start to pop then you could have upgraded um, vehicles that can go farther and farther down and promote just exploring deeper and deeper but it gets more and more difficult and then you just reach the blackest of black and you can't see anything so you need to have lamps and then you start to meet some really creepy creatures that live only in the darkest of places some other things that would make the immersion really really great would be having bioluminescent creatures in really dark cave systems we've already seen bioluminescent mushrooms before and I believe we've actually seen some footage of cave stuff. I'll put everything in the video so you guys don't have to look it up for yourself. But I really want things to be creative under the water. Uh, anyone that's played Subnautica would know there are some weird fish under the water. Even the most basic of creatures that you find in the beginning of the game, one of them is called a peeper. It's this huge fish with one big eyeball in the front. And it is just weird. Is this massive fish with one eye that like goes across both sides of its head <laughs> and there's another one called the hoop fish which is coming up in the subnautica below zero expansion and it's so interesting i just think some really weird creatures the farther down you go would just make it all the more worth it 
to explore. I mean, entire videos have been made about specific creatures. <laughs> if you look up on the internet, you're gonna see all sorts of content related to the first reaction of seeing the Reaper Leviathan. If you guys have a moment, I would recommend looking it up because it is quite hilarious. Dude, there is so much that they could do with underwater. And I know the main story is above water, but it would make it all the more cooler if you just went on a tangent and decided to go really deep underwater and you found a whole world that's ready to be explored down there. I just, I can't wait to see what stuff waits for us underwater because as Subnautica has shown us, if you do it right, oh boy, it is one of the most interesting aspects of any game I've ever played. And by the way, if you guys haven't played that game, do yourself a favor and go do it. Seriously, like I'm, Hightail stuff aside, you guys need to try Subnautica. It is an experience to say the least. A funny story actually, my friend Anthony, I brought him over with the, I had an Oculus Rift set up and I put him in and I told him to just keep swimming in the same direction until he hit, <laughs> until he hit the crater's edge. And then I sat and waited until he got attacked from behind by a ghost Leviathan. It was hilarious. He fell on his butt and screamed and ran out of the room. So it's a very immersive game. <laughs> it's freaking great. Well, anyway, if you enjoyed that video, then make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more. If you'd like to join my Discord channel, the link is in the description and in the pinned comment. On there, we could talk about all sorts of Hytale stuff, including the underwater portion, which is actually what I want you guys to do today. Ping me in the Hytale discussion chat with your idea for what could be underwater in Hytale. Well, anyway, that is it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.